Here's a video on the Patrick Street Railroad Bridge. Except for this little piece here, it's mostly a wooden bridge. But I think this piece was probably replaced whenever they put the put the street underneath. Which this street's not Patrick Street, I think it's the next street over. Which looks like people do still come up on this bridge some. I'm not going to walk across it because it's so rotten and full of vines, but I'm trying to get a video idea to see how long it is. Most of those tires look like they break. Well, there's so many vines you can't see it. Kind of wish the vines weren't here, that would be really cool. You see it's like that most of the way it crossed. Except I hit the beginning, I see a few tires I could probably step on. But, I know if I walk across it, it didn't badly. So therefore I won't do that. But, now you'll see in a second how long this bridge is. If all this bushes and vines went in there, I can get a better video. I thought I could point out that last time I was, well, I was down here yesterday, but the video didn't tell out, but the last time I was actually down here exploring the area, that building was abandoned. Somebody fixed it up, they replaced the windows and done some nice work to it, so they put some in there and they were storing it. But this is the railroad bridge. This probably goes on this way at least a mile or more. At least. As you can see, the wooden walkways coming apart. Back there at the beginning, it's really bad. You'll probably walk on some of the tires here. Don't think you can walk on very much of it, though. Because some of those tires look safe and some of them don't. But when they go to the vines, you can't tell what's one you step on, what's one you don't. Watch, well, so I'll get down here and the train will go by. That's cool how this road goes underneath these power lines like this. That's pretty cool. But this bridge keeps going, the farther down you get, the higher it gets. This is amazing. There's a little bit of steel in the structure, but not much. We can see where they cut away part of the walkway. And they put that sign, see that, that sex, no trespassing. That's what they exactly want people walking across the bridge. I think this is Patrick Street right here. Yeah, this is Patrick Street. Amazing old railroad bridge. There's a two sections of steel, so you can tell this bridge has had, had work done to it because there's actually little pieces of steel in the bridge on the bridge structure itself, but not much. It's just random sucks of steel. This is amazing. You just don't see structures like this anymore. This is kind of like something you see in the western. See, it's actually Norfolk Southern still still have a big value in those things, but now they do that at, down deep water. They have a fair, well, fairly new steel and concrete bridge not that far from here that they send trains on the cross on the side of the river for. And there's a squirrel on the bridge. I see something quite well. I don't know if I got in the video or not, but there was a squirrel trying to cross the railroad bridge just now. I think it went over, so I can't see him now. But that little squirrel was trying to cross over. But right here on, well,
It's an amazing bridge. It keeps going. Oh, well, this bridge has actually been on fire. Somebody actually set the railroad bridge on fire. I don't know about what's tall the river our trains on. Because there's active rail lines on both sides of the river. Well, the one on this side is not that active, but it's still in use. Usually a couple trains in the morning, or in the morning a couple trains late in the evening, and then one coal train in the middle of the day that feeds the power plant. But most of the time, they just go in and out of there. But they used to use this bridge to cross the river, but not anymore. Last, I don't know when the last time this bridge was allowed was in use, but there's another section of steel. Well, over there's the boat that connects. I know this may be a lengthy video, but this is a long railroad bridge. And there's a lighter. Actually, I think the train is on that side. Well, the section over the river is still on concrete. So, once it get past here, once it get past here, it's all still on concrete. Because I'm going to head back. Watch. The train's going to be on this side of the river because I'm not at the railroad tracks of watching goodbye. I can't really tell what side they're on, but you can hear them. <coughs> yeah, I think they are on this side. But look, this is the highest point of the bridge. About halfway across the river, it curves and goes downhill and connects to the CSX line. But this is amazing. From here on, it's to the to you get across the river. It's still once you get to the other side of the river, it's wood again. But it's still on concrete here. I think I've done, we've done this section because they had to allow boats. When this bridge was first built well over 100 years ago, there wasn't much still on concrete in it at all. I think the only section they used still on concrete in was over there so they could actually allow boats to go to the river. But since then it's been redone. Since then the bridge has been a bandit. But you can tell what they've done work on over the years. 